so this is your uh, second phase of uh, rectangular uh, antenna so you can see that uh, we have already uh, in the first phase this is the just a minute so this is the paper we have been following right so so we have to design a, a rectangle antenna which has a frequency of 28 gigahertz right 20 giga, 28 gigahertz for 5g application so that is what we are going to uh, we are going to design right so i have used the design equation that is there in this um yeah in this paper that you have uh, this is your ground plane and there is uh, this i've explained in the first phase itself so this is uh, uh, you have a ground plane and then you have a substrate with a high touch and you have a micro strip uh, like a rectangular patch with width and length and then you have a feed line and you have a port where you put uh, you give the input signal right so this is how we have done so these are the equations these are the equations that i have used so generally whenever you are uh, trying to design an antenna there are three things which you want first thing is the uh, resonant frequency and second one is the uh, substrate like uh, permittivity uh, relative permeability relative permittivity that thing and then uh, the third one is the height of the substrate if you have these three like uh, the dielectric constant this this things if you have dielectric constant a resonant frequency as well as the height of the substrate you will be able to design an antenna right so let's say that uh, so this is the equation so what you have to do is in the a in this wherever you, you can find f right fr fr is your resonant frequency there you have to uh, substitute it as 28 gigahertz that's 28 to 10 raised to 9 hertz so if you substitute it you will get the width length this is the only thing we need we only need the width length of the patch that's the only thing we need and then the substrate a width and length okay so let's come to the model so this is our model so as uh, as i have told you in this model whenever you are designing an antenna in HFSS, there's like there are like three things which you have to uh, there is like three steps kind of thing the so first you have to design the antenna that is a physical design you have to build the ground build the substrate then you have patch then you have port and everything so that's the first thing you have to do right uh, that's the first thing you have to do and after doing that you have to give the boundaries and then you have to give excitation and analysis so we will go step by step so here this is the project manager here you can see all the things that is there in the uh, project like um, you can see the model you can see the models width and length and all that and you can see boundaries what are the different excitation you can see everything in this project manager and here you can see all the dimensions of the solids or sheets that we have already used so first you can see that all the what is the material and all the dimension you'll get it here okay so first let's start with ground right so this is the ground you can see that uh, this is the so we have to see the ground right so in the ground you can see that you're having 8.5 x axis and y axis are 8.5 point that is the length and the breadth is 8.5 8.5 right um and you can see this is the position these are the positions so this is the length and this is the breadth and these are the positions okay this is for ground and then after the ground you have substrate so this is a substrate substrate you can see that you have like uh, similar to the uh, x uh, like similar to the um, ground you have all the x and y axis all the positions and everything you can see that the z axis the height is 0 0.244 millimeter okay so this is the height so you have the ground you have the substrate right the uh, here for the substrate i have used the material fr4 epoxy so you can edit you can get any materials from here if you go here sorry yeah, if you go to edit you can uh, see you can get any material whatever material you want you can get it from here okay so this is the substrate with all the uh, other uh, things or uh, with all the dimension you can find all the dimensions here so after the substrate you ha want to have a patch so this is the patch 
so what i have done is i have created this rectangle patch it first then i have created this field uh, feed line also and then i have united them or i uh, this, uh, they, this i have created separately and then i have united them okay so you here you can see that this is the x size y size and all the positions of feed is given and of patch you can find it here you can find all the dimensions of the patch okay so after now we have created ground we have created substrate and a patch now we have to create a port so port is nothing this green part is port that is where you are uh, giving the input signal so every antenna it needs an input signal and then it will start radiating so this is where you are giving the input signal okay so when you come to port okay this is the port and all the dimensions are here so you are creating the port also so this is basically your design and after completing the design you have to add one more thing which is a radiation box so you have to add a box where this antenna will be inside this box so this is called as a radiation box so why we are adding this is that the software it needs to know that uh, there is an area around the antenna which it can radiate to see so in this uh, box in this radiation box you can see that the material inside is air so you cannot give any other material you cannot give vacuum or some dielectric because what happens then the radiation it cannot be a radiation pattern won't form so you have to always give a air okay and radiation box is compulsory if you don't have radiation box you won't get any radiation pattern as such okay and there is no specific uh, like dimension for radiation box you have to make sure that radiation box is considerably bigger or uh, it should be bigger than the antenna uh, so that the antenna should be inside this radiation box okay and you also have to yeah that's the only thing you have to see so now we have designed our model so our model consists of ground substrate patch feed line port and a radiation box so this is the physical the physical aspects of our model now the next point is to uh, to give the boundaries so for radiation so you can see that there are two boundaries first one is radiation boundary that is a radiation box so we have to tell the software that this is uh, you can radiate in this area right so simple go to radiation right click assign boundary you can see that there is something called as radiation boundary so then you will get the radiation boundary and there is something else called as perfect e so perfect e is also known as perfect like conducting okay perfect conducting so we have to give the feed feed is our patch okay patch and the ground both of them should be perfectly conducting okay because it is the antenna right antenna patch as well as ground has to be conducting right so we have you can just uh, click it right click it you can give assign boundary as perfect e okay when you do that then it is completed you are um, giving boundaries boundary conditions are completed and then the third thing you have to do is excitation right so in the excitation so this is your excitation this is where you will uh, the, yeah this is where you will you can just click it you can see you can find this excitation will be here so this is port so go to the port and if you put, uh, right click you can give assign excitation lumped port right so you can give the excitation so we have designed the model we have given the boundary conditions we have also given the excitation now what you want is analysis so you can go to analysis and if you go to sweep you can see that i have given 20 to 35 because our um, this is to uh, like uh, aim is to resonate the antenna at 28 gigahertz so we have to find or give a sweep such a way that it should be between tw the 28 gigahertz should be between the upper and lower bound right so you can also give it as 27 and 29 that is also fine but i have given a little more like 20 to 35 so if you display it you can see that these are the step sizes 20 20.1 20.2 so what this software does is that it gives this um like this frequencies to antenna for testing so it tests with 20 gigahertz it will test with 20.1 gigahertz 20.2 gigahertz it will keep on testing with this gigahertz right so whenever it gets a value uh it gets a value where the antenna is resonating or there is a dip 
in the uh, return loss curve it means that the antenna is resonating okay it is checking that for which a resonant frequency the antenna is resonating okay right so after doing that you have to that is it then you have to validate the model so if you validate you can see that everything is green tick green tick means that your model is ready your model is it doesn't have any problem it is ready you can simulate it if you find any like any cross mark red cross mark it means that the model is not ready so now you can see that our model is ready and this is where this is so uh, analyze all if you click this it will get simulated this thing uh, the antenna will get simulated okay so after simulating the antenna you will get the result you can see the result so you can see that at like uh, to 28.2 gigahertz you can see that our antenna is resonating right similarly i have also had uh, this is vswr and vswr also you can see that at 28 or 28.2 it is actually resonating or uh, here vswr is less and there is also radiation pattern you can check the radiation pattern also and there is a 3d polar plot now this is a 3d plot so here you can see that uh, you can also see that it is yeah so this is your, this is your plot so here at the top part you can see that it is resonating well or here you can see the most of the radiation is in this red part and when it goes below you can see the radiation is becoming less and less the blue part means radiation is very low and the red part means radiation is very high so at the top portion you can see the radiation is happening okay so this is how you design um a rectangular micro a rectangular antenna for 28 gigahertz right thank you